Hello and welcome to What AM, a daily look at world, national, regional news, sports, campus events, and weather. I'm Gage Jenison. California is shutting off power to over 8,000 customers to reduce wildfire risk. Pacific Gas and Electric said blackouts would begin this morning in 34 counties across northern central and coastal California. Winds in the area are expected to gust between 40 and 70 miles per hour today and Thursday, and PG&E says it's trying to avoid contact between downed power lines and dry vegetation. A utility spokesman said the outages could last several days. Joe Biden is announcing a higher education plan that includes two years of free community college. The Biden campaign said Tuesday that the free, they are giving free access to community college courses would cut the cost of a four-year degree in half. Biden's plan would also invest $50 billion in high-quality job training programs, reduce student loan debt, and make more Pell Grants available. We'll be right back with a look at your WIT TV weather and campus events. But first, here's a look at the menu for today. This week on campus is your leading student-run newscast in the Siouxland area. The weekly show features all things Western Iowa Tech from deadlines to events. I follow This Week on Campus on Facebook and YouTube so I never miss a beat. Without it, I wouldn't have known about Drop Zone Night, Pickled Palette Night here on campus, Movie Night at the Promenade, or that all of these activities are free. Tune in every Friday afternoon to stay up to date on the college Facebook or YouTube page with TV. For the latest programming, be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell. Welcome back. In entertainment news, Jennifer Aniston is opening up about her experiences dealing with Harvey Weinstein. In an interview with Variety Power's Woman Issue, the actress revealed the producer tried to force her to wear his ex-wife Jorn Chapman's fashion label, Marchesa. Aniston recalled Weinstein visited her during a London shoot and bullied her into wearing a Marchesa dress for the premiere of Derailed in 2005. Aniston said she did not wear the dress. Fashion designer Tori Birch is offering a $10,000 reward for the safe return of her dog who went missing Sunday evening. Birch said her seven-month-old mini poodle named Chicken got loose near the southeastern part of Central Park. The fashion mogul took to social media yesterday announcing that the poodle was last seen with a couple in front of a bank on 56th Street and Madison Avenue. The couple was apparently taking the dog to get a microchip scan, but so far Birch still hasn't heard anything. Kevin Hart is officially back on the job after his car accident. Source tells E! News the actor is working with his Jumanji co-stars on a new marketing campaign for the film. His doctor gave him the go-ahead to return to work. The Rock, Danny DeVito, and Danny Glover are working reduced schedules in order to accommodate Hart. Taking a look at today's weather. Today will be sunny with a high of 74 degrees with a small chance of rain. Tonight, chances of rain increase and the low is 54. And tomorrow, chances are that it will be windy and breezy. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check up on the latest WIT TV programming at our website and our YouTube page. See you tomorrow.